In the first tutorial on DC simulations, we examined how to set up a basic DC simulation in microwave office and how to see voltages, currents and power dissipation on uh, every element in a DC circuit. We also examined uh, a simple potential divider which could represent a DC voltage source with a series resistance um, and a load resistance connected to it. Now in this tutorial we'll have a look at how to sweep a variable across a range of values and we will use uh, this feature of microwave office to show the maximum power transfer theorem which states that uh, the maximum power transfer happens when the source resistance, the internal source resistance, is equal to the load resistance in a circuit. In order to uh, do this, first of all, we have to declare a variable. We'll assign this variable to the element whose value we want to sweep across a specific range. So we click on the uh, equation button on the top row and then place the equation on the schematic. Now all we need to do is choose a name for our um, variable, we'll call it R sweep, and also assign an initial value to it. This value obviously has to be assigned, but um, it is just fictitious in a way if you are then sweeping the variable across a range. It doesn't really matter what you set it to. So we've declared our sweep and we've made it 50 ohms as a default value. Uh, this will represent our load resistance and uh, we want to sweep the value of the load resistance across a range of values and see what the power transfer value is across this range. So we need to change the uh, value of the load resistor from a fixed one of 50 ohms to a variable one by assigning it to the variable that we've just declared. So we'll just type R sweep in this box. Now what we need is an element that will allow us to sweep uh, the value of R sweep across a specific range. So we press the usual control L and then we fetch a, an element called sweep variable SWP var. As you can see here. Double click, place it on the schematic. Now, uh, as you can see, uh, there are a few things that needs to be set up um, on this element. First of all, the variable name. The variable name will be our sweep in our case. So we need to connect this, this uh, element that changes the value of a variable to the variable itself. So if we just double click here and just type our sweep, that first step is completed. Now we need to decide what values this is going to have. So we double click and we just type stepped 1 to 100 in increments of 1. So this syntax allows you to uh, create a range of values between the 1, which is the starting value, 100, which is the last value in the range, and also specify a step, which is 1 in our case. So in this case, we're creating 100 values for the uh, load resistor. And uh, at each value, we want to work out what the power um, dissipation is in the load resistor and see how that is related to, um, to the value of the resistor. So I'm just going to move a few things around now to make space for a power meter. So I'll move this resistor out a little bit. Now press the view all icon to resize the schematic. And then insert a power meter there. So we we'll again press Ctrl L. We look for a power meter. which is called P meter 3. Double click, place on the schematic, we insert a ground reference and then connect the element in series with the load resistance. This will now allow us to actually sweep the value of the load resistance across the range that we specified, which is 1 to 100 in increments of 1. 
and we can then see the dependency of power on the value of the load resistance. So let's just right click on graphs, open a new graph, have a tangular one, and we can rename it power versus load resistance. We right click, add a new measurement, we select nonlinear measurements, power, and then we choose PT. So we're looking at the total power. And as a measurement component, we select the power meter. And uh, you can see here, it's asking you what you want to do with the swept variable. In, uh, in our case, we will use it as an x-axis, because what we want to see is the total power across the range of values that we set up for the load resistance. So we just click on Apply and OK. And now we simulate. Now, as you can see, uh, on the x-axis we've got the value of the resistor and uh, the load um, the power split across the load is on the y-axis. And as we um, observed uh, earlier in the previous tutorial, um, there is a, a maximum point of this curve, uh, which is around uh, 50 ohms. And for lower values and for higher values, the power is not as great. Of course, you can also, as we've done before, insert a marker by just going to uh, Add Marker and then clicking on the curve. And then you can just move the marker to whichever point you like. As you can see, for instance, here are uh, 50 ohms, you get 20 milliwatts which is what um, we saw earlier.